But first, new at six, we're getting our first look at the high-speed chase in Warren that ended with a patrol car flipped over. Good to have you with us for Local 4 News at 6. Those officers were chasing two serial bank robbery suspects when the officers lost control near 11 Mile and Dequender. The chase took the officers down Van Dyke and into construction zones. It ended with the arrest of two men accused of robbing banks in Macomb County. Lauren Padell joins us with the dash cam video from inside the patrol car that captured every moment of the chase. The two Warren officers that got banged up during yesterday's police chase are out of the hospital and recovering at home. As for the robbery suspects, they're in the hospital, but also in police custody. And as you're about to see, they took these officers on a wild ride. With the sirens blaring, the orange HHR in sight, the chase for two 25-year-old bank robbers was on in Warren Wednesday afternoon. It was officers Rick Schnur and John Adams in the police SUV on the suspect's tail on the 696 service drive. And the dash cam video shows the moments those officers lost control. At the end of the chase, it looks like these guys are going to bail. So the cops, you know, when they're chasing, they're getting ready to bail too. And right before they rolled over, they both took their seatbelts off. Here's what sparked the chase, the surveillance from inside of the Ukrainian Credit Union on Ryan Road. The suspect, the guy in the red hat, looked closely. He hands the teller a note asking for $60,000. He doesn't get it and leaves. Same scenario two more times. This is inside the extra credit union on Chicago. Commissioner Green says this is not their first rodeo. The FBI is definitely interested in these two guys uh, as uh, serial robbers. We know they're good for three yesterday, two in Warren, one in Sterling Heights. They got $6,000 yesterday in Sterling Heights. We recovered that money in the car. Back to the dash cam. Warren PD was able to make the arrest after the HHR crashed into a pickup truck. It was a chase that took police on Van Dyke Mound, had them dodging traffic and construction zones. A close call for two officers, but two bad guys are now off the streets. We won't be surprised if there might be up to 15 to 20 bank robberies that these guys have committed in the metro area. Reporting from Warren, Lauren Podell, Local 4. We are told yesterday was Officer John Adams' last day on the job before retirement. He is now at home tonight recovering with spinal fractures.